The next thing we're going to take a look at is any of, each of, either of, neither of, or none of. Right? With these things, if it's a plural noun or a pronoun, you can use a singular or plural verb. I don't think any of them knows or know where the money is hidden. Neither of the French athletes has or have won this year. I don't think anybody knows. We use the singular verb after anybody. However, I don't think any of them knows or know. I don't think anybody know is incorrect. And so if it's anybody knows, any of them knows or know. Neither of the French athletes has or have won this year. The French athletes have won this year. No French athlete has won this year, but neither of the French athletes has or have won this year. You can use both in that context. We have now something called the partitive genitive. And a partitive genitive essentially means the part of the whole. And we have things like a, the majority of, a number of, a lot of, plenty of, all or all of, some or some of. If it's a plural noun or a pronoun, we use a plural verb. A number of refugees have been turned away at the border. Right? A number of refugees means some refugees. So essentially we have the refugees is the whole, plural, and a part of that whole, a number of, we use a plural verb. Plenty of people live in apartment buildings. People live in apartment buildings. Plenty of, right? Many people live in apartment buildings. Some of the money was spent on books. The money was spent on books. Money, singular, part of that whole is singular. The number of books in the library has risen to over 10 million. Right? The number essentially refers to just how many. Right? There's, no, this, there's not this partitive genitive structure there. A number of books in the library were taken out by John. The number of books in the library taken out by John was five. Now we have one of plus a plural noun or a pronoun we use a singular verb. One of the reasons why I took the job was that I could work from home. One of plus plural singular verb. However, one of plus plural noun pronoun plus who, we use a singular or a plural verb. He's one of those teachers who insist or insists that his students show up on time. So in that sentence we have one of plus plural noun pronoun plus who, and we can use either a singular or a plural verb. Thank you.